I didn't expect. You know when you when they're like you, they, you nobody have heard your name. Yes. But you have been existing, and then all of a sudden, or maybe people have heard your name in a very casual way. Uh, uh, then you people come to visit you then the talents that you have to offer them wow. just kind of like made them speechless yes, yes, that yes, was when ghana worked. started to show me the side of ghana that i never knew existed like hello okay. guys welcome to eagle eye angle and today i'm here with another exciting episode for you guys so please if you are here stay tuned and kindly subscribe like and share as well so today i have a friend she's a youtuber she's a nigerian and she's a single mom she has been in ghana for a while now so i just want to interview her let her tell us the some of the things she find interesting about Ghana, her dislike about Ghana and all, the, all that. So please stay tuned. So Lillian, welcome to Eagle Eye Angle. Thank you for having me, beautiful host. How well, are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Please introduce yourself to me. Oh, okay. Audience. My name is Lillian and uh, my channel's name is Lily Ogini. You have already introduced everything now. You said yes, I'm, yes. I'm a single mom and I live in Ghana. I'm a Nigerian. <laughs> so yeah, that's all about me for now okay so how long have you been in ghana i've been in ghana since the month of april of 2022 okay that is not my first time in ghana okay so but then i moved to ghana permanently since then and up to date i have not looked back Wow, that means you have been enjoying the country, right? You won't try, yes, <laughs> eh, yes, nah. they enjoy Ghana. <laughs> so, are you here with? I know you are a single mom, but yeah. I just want to know if you are here, if your kids are with you and your husband, you are here plus your husband. Ah, where did I get? Where do single mother get husband? <laughs> Okay, I see, I see, right? If I'm dating, okay, yes. mm, I wouldn't, I would not talk about that part, but I'm here with my kids, like, okay. yeah, I'm here with my kids. So, since you've been, since you have been in Ghana, like, how is cost of living to you? Because I know it's hard everywhere, but I just want to know yours and your view so far. Wait, Sauda, so this is a very important question, and thank you for asking. So guys, the cost of living in Ghana is very high, okay? That's the fact. Um, even though we are not trying to compare it to any other country, but living in Ghana is on the high side. You have to know that. So it's not been easy. Okay. You just are in life. You have to find a way to just survive. Either get used to situation yes. or get better with situation or yes, in situation. Yes, yes. So in my case right now, I don't know where to say I belong. But okay. even with all that, god is still coming through so yeah we're okay. surviving you mm. thank god thank you so <laughs> i know you know you are a nigerian so yeah. i just don't know but i want to ask this question okay aside the cost as aside the high cost of living mm. in ghana here that you've experienced have you experienced anything like racism like people hating on you or something like that i want to know oh thank you for asking this is another important question that people are dodging from but me i will answer okay yeah i have had to deal with um this discrimination being discriminated upon or uh, being treated sometime on i would say unnicely i wouldn't say unfairly because okay. yeah i can only say the, po the police treated me unfairly mm -hmm. so if it's just any other person i can i wouldn't say unfairly they treated me unnicely okay so yeah i've not really had that experience where people um dislike me okay. just because i'm a nigerian but i've had experience where people refuse to rent their houses to me because because i'm a nigerian, nigerian. Oh, they didn't allow me to explain myself oh, i expected bad. them to have asked me what you do for a living mm -hmm. how do you intend to get money to pay me how many people are going to come live in my house you know yes, so yes. i can try to explain then if it doesn't come right they, sh they have the right to deny me uh, accommodation yes. but i was not given a chance to explain some landlords don't even want to meet me oh. because i'm in nigeria and they have oh. really ruled me out so that was one time i find living in ghana to be not what 
you know it almost changed um the perception of Ghanaians yeah. in my head and but then but then again look at you mm -hmm. and i have other people like i have too many people to make me you know love like yes, yes. the positive is more than the, the, the negative. negative so yeah and we should dwell with that we should dwell on that okay, rather okay mm. okay that's lovely thank you so so far i know you are i just don't know but after the the things you found difficult here already mm -hmm. have you i know and you are a youtuber as well so which of the exciting places in ghana here have you been to mm -hmm. like that you would love to go there anytime any day oh sister you want to put me in trouble <laughs> Which part am I going to pick and leave which part? Because almost all the places I've Tell been to me in Ghana. All. Okay, you want me to name where I've been? Yes. Okay, the first place I went to ever to make a video as a content creator, to leave Accra, like to move out of Accra to go to outside of Accra, okay. other parts of Ghana, was Kweu at the eastern region okay, and okay. i loved it it was <laughs> it was so beautiful that wow. place is pretty oh, okay so i remember almost breaking down if you watch my videos then because i didn't expect you know when you when they're like you they, you nobody have heard your name yes but you have been existing and then all of a sudden or maybe people have heard your name in a very casual way eh, eh, then you people come to visit you then the talents that you have to offer them wow. just kind of like made them speechless yes, yes, that yes, was when ghana worked. started to show me the side of ghana that i never knew existed I like see. i saw beauty in reality so don't 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 get me wrong when i say beauty in my own definition in my own terms it means natural beauty the the creation of god not the mermaid i love beautiful mountains yeah yes. i love beautiful parks created by um, human beings yes. but i mean like beautiful things that the people um that found the people like that existed along with human uh, human human uh, human race do you understand okay. so when i went to Kweu, i saw those beauty and then i was like okay so then again i came back i okay. thought i've seen it all but then immediately after the trip i went to akusumbo it oh, was wow. so pretty akusumbo before. yes oh, i was like oh my god this is fine and then uh recently i have made another i made another trip to the west i went to takrade second day so and i love second day so much because yes. it's so unique it is i can't explain it i don't know how ghanaians lives that your style of living in ghana here is not what we some part of nigeria okay, we okay, know okay you know you see houses people can build like this kind of place and you can see small space you can see like 10 houses yeah. <laughs> people live together sure. like yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the environment. You, and and sometimes these towns or villages are located on on hills okay it makes it look so beautiful and some exactly. of these villages exactly. and towns are ancient yes. so the my god like i love it oh so um, i've been to those parts like okay. I, of, of course i've been to kumasi uh, okay, the ashanti okay. region and then uh, some part of central region i've been to cape coast i've been to where again yeah uh i've been to a place called somania okay somania yeah yeah somania yeah, yeah so i've been Menya, to somania i've been to ada ada oh. yeah and i've been to where again yeah i know afra why is that's why Oh. i follow come ghana <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. that's lovely thank that's you. lovely that's lovely thank you so my last question like this is going to be the last question tell me some of the ghanian dishes i mean like hey. those food you may be oh. teased fufu like those dishes that so far you love like okay. you you've come to love that food ah, i've yes. come to love tz and okay. um, fufu and goat meat i have hey. come food ah, i've yes. come to love tz and okay. um, fufu and goat meat i have hey. come to love fufu. Good. Hey. so much your fufu. mouth sweet you hey. you see fufu like this <laughs> if you see me house give me fufu and uh, how do you call goat meat in uh, in, in 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 the local dialect in a camp <laughs> You see goat meat, I mean, fufu and a kwan chong kwan. 
make sure your subscribers <laughs> understand what I mean. Yes. You know, like they tell me, uh, because sometimes Ghanaians yes. will tell you they don't understand English. <laughs> yes. I'm telling them in a so they will know what I'm talking about when I come to their house. <laughs> they can give me the food to eat. <laughs> so I used to think I like Kenke a lot. Okay. That was my thought until I, you know, it took me time to start eating the Ghanaian fufu. Fufu, okay, okay. Because the process was a turn off for me. I don't like people dipping hand in my food. Ah, uh, okay. You okay. get it? Yes. So yes, when I saw yes. that fufu, process uh that pounding first. you shook your yes, hand inside yes, water yes. Shook your, so i needed someone to to make an impression or correct something in my head so i wanted someone to do it with okay. clean water let me see how it how clean that water yes, is yes. how washed the hands yes. are and then someone did that and then ever since then oh it got your attention. yeah and i don't know that it's not dirty water it, no 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 it's you not, see it's so not. i love for a lot <laughs> but up to date i'm still not comfortable with the preparation process oh just give me the fufu i don't want to see how you made it okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay i think that will be all oh thank you so yes, much okay that will be all. thank you for, all right thank you for having me okay yeah. thank you for coming as thank well thank you all right okay <laughs> so guys thank you for staying with me please kindly subscribe and stay tuned for my next video ciao bye